last time on Dads and Dragons. With the lights from the ancient dank, dun ancient dank dungeon extinguished, Augustus Brightwood hopelessly strained his eyes to find his enemy. With only the faintest glow from the torches in the other room, the white rabbit was nowhere to be seen. He called for a retreat and backed carefully away from the darkness to the room they had been in before, before the clumsy Algaparans had disturbed them. Craven ducked into the corridor behind him, cursing. He was still dripping from being dropped into the spongy water below, and had been tainted further by the foul-smelling undercroft. Augustus motioned him towards the back of the room and then readied himself. The Algatherans charged headlong into the room without a thought of what might lie ahead, full of bluster and arrogance, as expected. The druid came first, now in the form of a giant deer, but his charge was cut short by a quick shield slam, taking the beast to the ground. This only briefly slowed him, where he immediately righted himself, now unnaturally fast, and struck at Augustus with his hooves. He barely, he barely brought his shield up to meet the unexpected blows, and jabbed his, sheer, his spear to counterattack, but the beast was already on the other side of the room, slamming Craven into the wall. In the other room, Melodie had stayed hidden as it now returned to her view. Aragon, shimmering and shifting around constantly, chased after her old companion. Seeing an opportunity, Melody dropped down from the roof onto the gnome at the back of the group and tried to slam her fangs down into his upper shoulder. To be fair, gnomes are a very small target. Melody missed spectacularly and ends up, ended up with a tangle of legs on the floor. The gnome guffawed as she sprawled on the ground, pointed his finger at her and yells gingerly, my gold spiders, you must burn! <laughs> Jesus. A point of fire appears between her eight eyes and erupts into a fire. When the fire subsides, the gnome is still laughing maniacally. Now, Lodi, focusing all her strength on containing her badly damaged spider form, barely registers the slippery harrogon that swallowed after her old friend in pursuit of Raven and Augustus. Augustus starts across the room to rescue Craven, but feels the Harrogon approaching him from the proper rear. He spins and slams his shield into her chest. Blast! Another illusion fades away as his shield bounces un uselessly off the stone wall. The real Harrogon slips through, the through a shadowy doorway and is suddenly behind him again. He turns to face her, but her cruel blades, her cruel blade is still flying through the air from behind him gashes at his shield arm while his back is turned. Craven tries to fire blast after blast at the huge beast in front of him, but the barrage of strikes from the hooves and ants make it impossible to land a blow. He attempts to fly across the room to get some space, but the beast batters his enemy into the wall again as soon as he turns away. In desperation, he fires a last blast and catches the elf right between the eyes. The form is brought down, and instead, a beautiful man stands before him. As he readies his first blow against the actual man behind the beast, there is a glint in his beautiful eyes and a wry smile before he ships again, this time into a black spider. The spider brings his jaws down quickly on his outstretched arm and almost tears it off. As he clutches the wound, Craven can feel the spider's venom flow. Alodi, now back on her feet, charges towards the small man. She snaps her jaws down, finally striking true and delivers a dose of venom to the small creature. She rears up triumphant and crashes down to deliver the death blow, but the gnome is gone. Another illusion? No. She can still taste his blood on her mandibles. Some kind of gnome trickery. She is distracted and doesn't see the rock flying at her many eyes until it strikes her. One of the spider's mandibles is ripped from her face. In a scream of pain, she drops out of her form and falls to her, knee falls to her knees. The gnome chuckles again and ducks around the corner to finish off her friends. The dragon lord glares at the tricky rabbit woman, who is dipping in and out of his reach to strike, to strike him from out of his reach. He hears a yell from behind him. Melody. He turns, hoping that he can save at least one of his companions. He is face to face with a halfling dressed only in paper, offering little protection. <laughs> A much more favourable target. <laughs> Even with his injured arm, his shield quickly knocks the halfling off balance, and he aims a blow of his spear at the gnome's unprotected torso. He thinks to himself, this
this must be the height of arrogance. To enter this cursed place wearing nothing but paper mache. <laughs> <laughs> As he brings his spear down, the halfling throws up his hands. Wait, wait. That's it, why it sent me to help Sirius get to the node. This causes the dragon lord to pause. His spear just above the miserable sprawling mass's throat. He asks how he knows Master Pike. The Baldwin man says his name is Green and Metal Team. The Dragonborn grins to himself. After all this time, this will make his victory all the sweeter. He agrees to leave the gnome alive for now. Uh, he hears Craven cry out in, the frus in frustration as the elk, spider, man, now in human form, avoids his cast and delivers a spray of toxic gas in return. He turns to start towards the man but is confronted by the Harrow directly in front of him and asks about his tiny accomplice. He has been dealt with. Brightwood, Brightwood responds. You are the real prize. He continues and starts towards the Harrow. Uh, come then, Sarabe responds. <laughs> Perhaps this time you'll be able to land a blow before I shred you. Augustus charges towards the Harrow. Now that they're in arrogance again, he thinks. His first and second blow hit on the air, but on his third strike he connects and knocks the creature prone. He brings his spear down triumphantly, but the rabbit falls, shimmers again, and she is gone. She's across the room, and she touches something on her head, and a spark of lightning zaps him. But it is nothing for his armor. She grimaces and slaps her chain weapon, and starts glowing with a blue magic. Augustus readies himself for another strike, but before the, rap the rabbit can try any more of her tricks, Elodi rounds the corner and brings down a, a beam of white light upon her. Moonbeam, Augustus knows it well. Ceres is blessed by the moon. Elodi, always one for theatrics. <laughs> the dragonborn spits blood from his mouth and readies himself to charge at the Harrogon once more, but he needn't bother. The rabbit jumps across teleports through himself and Elodie, couching on his back on the way. He follows the path of the teleport and begins his strike before she's even finished returning to this room. The shield bounces her firmly into the wall again, and the rabbit, exhausted, falls to the ground. No more tricks, he thinks, as he ready his death. Suddenly, a blast of air and wind appears all around him. The screaming gale blasts Elodie into the ceiling, and he watches as her fragile body is snapped on his great arm. He is thrown against the wall as well. His armor makes him too heavy to be completely torn aside. He brings his spear down on the Harrogon, stabbing her through the chest, a mortal wound. Augustus turns, and the druid stands alone, with Craven's blood still on his hands. He charges the last hope of Theron with a flick of his wrist, the exhausted beast man, blasts him with another wall. He is slammed against the wall again, but holds his balance. He slaps the druid to the ground, and snarls, Poor Albathera, before striking him through the shoulder with the point of his spear. He looks over the battlefield as he regains his breath. Craven's corpse is already bloating with rot and poison from his battle with the druid. And Elodie's body is being torn asunder. He is the only one left from the glorious trio. He picks up Craven's pack with a node tamper and continues on into the darkness. Good work. I like the. That was a good, that was a good recap. Is that your new character now? <laughs> you just. Some, sometimes I wonder if really we're here for the recaps and the D the D, &D itself is just just <laughs> that. <laughs> that was really good, Ed. Well done. Yeah, yeah that, that was great. great. I can't wait to see what happens <laughs> next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lord. Ridiculous. You, honestly, if like if Brenton like I know he's still watching this shit, but if he just tuned into the recap each week, he'd know exactly <laughs> what was happening. Yeah. Only for Ed's weeks. <laughs> well, you guys gave me a good week. I had to do it justice. Yeah, that there was, was a lot going on there. It was a pretty big week. It was a huge week. Okay, so, um, yeah, our uh, our protagonist um walks up into the darkness, like wounds dripping, shoulders hunched, um, 
and the, the as his footsteps fade, all that remains is the the slow drip of uh, water off stalactites and blood from the corpses of the slain, more unconscious. Um, a few hours later, let's see who wakes up first. Actually, one, two for Olsen, three, four for Algae. Algae wakes up. Now, did anyone hear Algae say what he they said? They sure didn't. No one is still alive. No one is still alive. Well, besides the Dragon Knight. Sure. Dragonborn, rather. He's, he's still out there. He knows, but... No, no, Theron's there. No, so, Algy wakes up. Yeah! Ah, my country, it must be victorious somewhere. Why don't I? I'll start to look for them as I turn around. Bum, bum, bum. As you turn around, you see, like, bodies strewn through the Yeah. Hallway. Yeah. The walls are, like, caked in blood. There's, like, like two halves of this, uh, this Ceres druid. Um, Scattered, scattered through the hallway. Um, but more importantly, there is Sarabe. Yeah. Oh no, Sarabe. I check, check for a pulse. I use my medicine. Um, old, old reliable. I won't even make you roll. Um, there's no pulse. Uh, I start doing CPR. Okay. But like on. Spear chest for it, obviously. You are uh, you you grasp like um, desperately um, heave into this all little Harrigan's um, like cut cut up chest. What did you actually die from? A spear through the chest? Yeah, the yeah, because all mate managed to knock all mate knocked me over and then was just like stab. Yeah, you're like. You're trying to do CPR, but every time you push, blood just wells out of this chest wound and just seeps into the ground around Saravang. Love you it. You quickly realize it's completely futile. Yep. It's too far gone even for my my <laughs> skills. Saravang, and I'll... I'll be there, we'll miss you. And I'll take, take her signet ring, make sure we got that. Mm -hmm. Gotta find us. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I'm like, well, I'm still alive, so obviously we won, you know? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Not all. <laughs> I could have to send her a <laughs> So, a little twist. I did Mark? Yeah, <laughs> you might be. Um, as far as I could, I was thinking about this over the week. And algae, algae had a reason to be like knocked unconscious. You, on the other hand, have a reason to be dead. Yeah, but you killed, you're not. You killed both the other people. Now, it comes down to if algae can save you. Oh, Ed, you far. <laughs> Yeah, why would you say this now? He's gonna have to do a new character sheet. Wilson! <laughs> I immediately begin my um, well versed medical procedures. What do I got? Sorry, Sorry I, didn't, I didn't have my. Yeah, it, it it did not it was not quick uh coming with a new eighth level character yeah oh my god algae don't fuck it up i see the shoulder wound much more easier to manage than a chest wound but i can see he's lost a lot of blood you can see he's lost a lot of blood um the shoulder wound hasn't killed him but the breathing is ragged 
Um, there's a lot of blood around this corpse. You like you were unconscious for you don't know how long. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's find out. So, what would you? Uh, and I'll give you some agency here. Would you prefer a single roll? Or would you prefer a sequence of rolls? A sequence of rolls. A sequence of rolls. From me. From me. All right. I've already passed my rolls. In theory, if you didn't do anything, I'd be fine. <laughs> Good kill also. So, you are. We're doing a sequence of uh, essentially life-saving rolls, and we'll treat it the same way we do death saves. Um, it's a. <clears throat> you have you have to get you have to essentially pass three checks to bring him back from death stall. Yeah. I know he's got a pulse, so that's good. So... Administer your first treatment to Olsen. And tell me what... Tre- tell me the treatment you're doing and then roll your dice. Um... I am going to... This is silly. But... I've seen Olsen's strength as an elk. I'm going to polymorph him into an elk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he's really strong as an elk. I don't know why, but that had some real like Harry Potter vibes to me. I feel like. Bitch, <laughs> you still had uses of polymorph left and. Yeah, of course. I just got fucked. You guys left me. I didn't think you would not stealth around the corner. Okay. The polymorph into an elf. Much more easier to manage. Roll your d20. <laughs> Profession, vet. Uh, what? Medicine or animal handling now? What it's, am I? It's, 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 this is medicine, Jake. So all, all the way. Sweet. Minus one, baby. All right. Okay, um, you polymorph him into the elk, but the wound in the shoulder just, like, transforms, uh, it, it, like, it transforms the same size, like, like, proportionally. So now you've got a gaping wound on this elk that's, like, twice as large as it used to be. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Alright, what's your second... Jesus. Tables? Um... I do, actually. Jeez, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, what else do I got? I'm just trying my spells. <laughs> ha! This is gonna work better. Since the gaping wound is so big, I'm like, oh, he's much too big to operate on. The wound's too big. I'm gonna cast enlarge reduce on him to reduce him down to a workable size okay. to operate on. Okay. Genius. Absolutely genius, Algae. Everything It really does. <gasps> oh, wait! It is a that 20! It's a nat 20. Alright. So, you... You shrink the elk. Um, and... The wound... The wound shrinks proportionally as well. And the amount of blood flowing out of it almost seems it seems to clot up. So you're you feel like you're actually quite close to saving Olsen. Mm-hmm. It's too big blood. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Blood cells didn't shrink. <laughs> so one uh, last one last treatment. One last treatment. Well, or maybe maybe more. We'll find out. Ooh, I do love an old the old quarter eyes. I do. I've got a nice. Control flame to make it even brighter for that brief moment. I'm doing that. This lantern right there. I'm gonna use that flame. Oh, sorry. Use it. Press it onto Olsen. I'm gonna enhance it slightly with the to give it like a flash of control flames to uh, make the heat more intense to cauterize it. Well, okay. um, 
you you press fire towards the wound um, and you hear Elkson sort of neigh in like neigh weakly in pain he is, he is on death's door the blood flow has slowed but uh, he, need, he needs just something else to get him up I look around is there any like uh, I guess I see the um uh the Alcatharian warlock not the Alcatharian it's the Regine warlock yeah maybe he's got something okay um I, I think he died over here yeah, he's, he's just <laughs> oh a... there he is yeah um you ruffle through his pockets um and yeah like he's he's packing some um packing some some like standard travel supplies um there's some there's some like basic, basic triage uh, stuff in there. Some, some healing herbs. Um, healing you're herbs. not quite sure if they work on an elk, but I guess you're gonna find out. Hmm. But if it, when the elk's health goes back to zero, he becomes human. So really, I've got two chances for this. That's how the spell works, Lachlan. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damage carries over to other things. Actually, it says the spell has no effect on a shape changer or a creature with zero hit points. Well, I've got one hit point. That's true. That's true. Algie just dove in. He's like, oh, yeah. I can't, I've lost Sarah. I can't lose Halston too. Yeah. You've had, you've had two fails. You've had two successes. Yeah. By the way, these are raw twenties. I'm not taking your actual medicine and scoring to effect. Okay. I'll just roll the twenty then. Um. I since he's an elk, and elks are. Uh, herbivores. Herbivores. I was like vegetarian. I was like that ain't right. <laughs> I guess it's true. <laughs> yeah. Herbivores. I'm going to feed him the. Healing herbs. That's how medicine works. Because I've already cauterized the runes. There's no point in me putting it on there. Like, mm. that's silly. It's healed. So. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm just very badly burned. I believe in it. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm so bad at rolling. Jesus Christ. So, uh, wasn't it literally just? Uh, oh my god! Never trust a warlock's pocket. I have not right the <laughs> <out of. laughs> All right. So, like, to be honest, um, <laughs> I rolled a three, a twenty, a six, and a two. <laughs> I, I'm not even sure if that was fun or not. So, if you want that to not happen, I'm actually fine with that. Um, I mean, I like I like the drama of it. Uh, I don't like the old idea of Olsen dying because Algie sucks after he yeah, got yeah, yeah. Like Algie just like murdered this dude. <laughs> it's it's on. It is keeping the character, but it really like punishes the character. for that. I like that being really, stressed, though. Yeah, yeah, like, it doesn't, like, for some reason, it doesn't feel very fair to Ed, but, like... <laughs> like you had no agency in this, even though yeah. you failed your, past your roles. Yeah, like, Ed should be dead. Like, that, it doesn't really make sense for the... Uh, I was thinking about during the week. It doesn't make sense for that guy to leave you not dead. But he but, did. Um, we'll yeah. never know why. Yeah, he was... He was staggering, he was dizzy, he saw you, like, bleeding oh. out on the floor. Okay, well, honestly, um, up to you, Ed. Like, whatever you, like, I'm actually happy to just, like, uh, retcon that out of existence, Algie's failings, or maybe make it so that, like, despite Algie's failings. Despite, I like Olsen. Olsen's, Olsen is just... Oh, yes, just, 
so I've killed him, and then he's coming drunk. back. <laughs> it's looking good. All right, this is fair. Oh. <laughs> so, I've done it. He's coming back. <laughs> that's actually perfect. That's a, that's a lot better. Tasty. So you. That makes a lot of sense, actually. So Algy goes in to try and treat you, and he actually kills you again, and you have to roll their saves, and you just nail it. Alright. Just for one more hour, at least you can bring me back up to life. So, like, you, you've, like, stuffed these herbs down this elk's throat, Cam. Yeah. Um, and it just, like, pops them up, like, bleh, um, and, like, vomits, and then starts just, like, breathing normally. Bit more normally. I've done it. <laughs> Algae, you clever genius. <laughs> oh, that was actually perfect. Okay, that that, yeah, that really ties it together nicely. That works. Breathe the big sigh of relief. Oh. It's, it's not all going wrong today. Um, I want to check Olsen to see if he's got any berries. Probably should have started with that. Yeah, that's true. Can you choose when to polymorph or unpolymorph or morph people? Well, when he went back to zero, he should have turned back into a human, actually. So when I killed him. You absolutely still have that. Have that. No, I don't have anything. Ah. We got some nice coffins over here. Just leave me there, just in case. Yeah. I don't know. We can just like sit here for an hour, and then I can start. I'll, I'll go check on. I'll try and check the other body. And like bring Sarave over, layer next to you kind of thing. Drag. Can you? I can drag Sarave. There you go. Yeah, I can. Get one of these ready. Ooh. <laughs> I can open it. <laughs> the coffin is empty. In she goes. <laughs> Are you actually putting Sarave in the coffin? Yeah. Usually we just leave them where they fall. I guess that's true. That's the Alcatheran way. There you go. <laughs> Doesn't work. No, damn. It's very awkward. This your yeah. model sticks up so far because of the chain. <laughs> <laughs> Keep yeah, it, it, really, it really does. Okay, anyway, you're in. You're. Let's you've wait. Been... Short rest or whatever. Then. <sighs> so Algy, Algy slumps down, um, back to this crate. Um, the only sound in the room is his frantic breathing. Um, as he calms himself down, um, it took all of his gnomish strength to drag Sarave whose corpse was like almost scarily light at the end of the day into this coffin. Um, he couldn't think of a better place to lay his most trusted companion. Um, second most trusted companion. <laughs> um, he's still not 100% sure if Olsen will wake from the his, his ministrations. Um, no, just fears... from his wounds. His administrations have worked. <laughs> he, he, he fears his advanced treatment might not be enough, even. Yes, even there, you go. there you go. There you go. There you go. Oh my lord. Um. So, what does Algy say to himself about continuing through this, or or returning to the surface? Uh. What was the dragon one's name again? Augustus. 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 He knows my secret. 
Right. <sighs> what does the manual say? We always had Olsen for this. Um... Do we continue to heal up down here? I'll have to wait for what else is. Do we go back, find support, and continue? The, the mission's not over yet. We have to continue to get the node. That's okay. about it, yeah. Um, you, do you fortify the room at all, or do you just sort of sit there for an hour? Uh, is there, like, so there's a gate, right? I'll just, like... What else? There's, there's, yeah, that's the gate. Um, do you want to look at the gate? Uh, yeah, I'll try and close like this gate up here, and then I might like just have a little wander around about what's back here and whatnot. Yep. So your your room is sort of you're just in this like well lit room um, surrounded by two gates. Um, you can't roll me an inspection, please, on the the what is that the eastern gate. Yeah, as far as you can tell, that thing ain't moving. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. It looks like it's absolutely, like you can't figure out how to open it. Um, yep. You do seal the uh, the other gate. Um, probably like a, I don't, even, I don't even know, like a sleight of hand or something like that to like, to, well, actually, what, what do you do? You just close it? Uh, <clears throat> is there any sort of like lock or anything like that? or? Yeah, it's got a lock. Uh, yeah, I lock it. You don't have the key. Ah. That's my sleight of hand. And you don't, you do not do a good job of, like, lock picking it. You just, like, jam a stick in there and you're like, job done! Yeah. <laughs> I'll this put, is the most I'll, 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 I'll pile, pile some corpses in front of it. Just like... Okay. Um, oh, yeah, so... I, I want to drag the poison corpse out. That can't be good for all since breathing. Sure. Um, you drag the poison corpse out and throw it into the river, and it um, quickly sinks sinks to the uh, bottom of the river. It's almost like he was never there at all. Um, a silence falls upon the dark cabin um, as you watch the river still beneath you. Um, the dim light of the cabin behind you where Sarave's corpse haunts you, and Olsen's potentially corpse uh, waits for you. You're almost too nervous to return to find out if Olsen is dead or alive. Mm -hmm. But return you must. Yep. Return I must. You pull corpses uh, in front of the gate, jamming it shut as best you can, and begin an uneasy uh, watch upon Olsen's shakily breathing miniature elk form. <laughs> um, 30 minutes in, you hear a... Actually, give me two seconds. Yeah, I have a... Oh. Oh. Secret chat. I've got a a plan or something as well. <laughs> Lucky I didn't kill you. Yeah. Yeah. To get that, so they'd be like, "Oh, you, you dead now." Yeah. Maybe you could succumb to infection later. I feel like there's no, like, you know, it's like starting a whole new campaign. So yeah. Algae, and he's on, what, his second, third personality? Like, what? Algae? <laughs> yeah, that's Algae. He's a survivor. That's his whole, that's his character trait. I should. I dropped a few ones to be like, oh, these are like my, my solo survival skills to get out of any situation. I was like, ah, oh, nah, they're not doing that. I'm like, damn it! 
I wish I kept. I've got something as well for this door. I hear somebody approaching. Five feet, perfect. Do you want to know what I'm doing? Ah, uh, I'm... Um... Yeah, we can. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Is it gonna be? Yeah. I might just shut us in instead. <laughs> um. Okay, so. It's off. It's over on your stream, man. Gotta cause the drama. Um. Okay, so thirty minutes into your uh, anxious vigil, Cameron. Um, all of a sudden, look over, and that gate that you swear could not open, it's just- Oh, the other one. Oh, fuck. I wasn't even watching that one. I don't even- Did I- So I hear it opening. Um, you don't. In fact, you just look over, and you're like, what the fuck? How did that open? And then you feel the press of a cold strip of metal against your neck. Oh. Well, well, well. How's it going, little friend? <laughs> stop, stop. I'm harmless. Don't kill me. I'm sure that's worked for you before, small little things like that. Funny thing finding... finding some Algatherans down here. You know, it's always... it's always good to see. It's always good to see, but, uh... There, there's, there's, there's a lot of people down here. So, so tell me, how did, uh, how did our new illustrious mayor come to power? Illustrious mayor? Are you talking about what was, what was her name? Uh, <laughs> what was her name again? <laughs> Botany. Botany. Our good friend, our good friend Botany, indeed. She, she won by a fair election. How could there? <coughs> oh, there in democracy. How else do you elect someone? I mean, seems like it seems like a reasonable, seems like a reasonable answer. But you know, anyone anyone could know the uh, the firm pillars of democracy that that Algathera rests on. But how's that enough to know that you're not? You're not some little Ceresian spy. Oh, well, I, oh you I, know, didn't, from... I didn't vote for her. Oh, oh, you didn't vote for her. Do you think she's too far, too left-leaning, too far pushing, <laughs> pushing for progress? <laughs> interesting, interesting. Okay. <laughs> well, 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 well then. I'm Algathera, true and true. Tell me, some, tell me something about Algathera then. Prove it. Prove it to me. Everyone. Anyone could know that Botany was democratically elected. What else what else have you got, little one? Uh, I wish we had some some like some brown ale and uh was it like a potato pie or something weird like that? Yeah. 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 It's like ha <laughs> Alright. Alright then, I suppose. I suppose no, it takes a true Algatheran causeman to know the uh, the joys of an Algatheran brown ale and uh, and the traditional rations of an eggs benedict. Something that you can only come up with on mass magically, yes. and you feel the you feel the dagger uh, leave your hand, and it. But unlike instead of uh, from your neck, but <laughs> instead of just moving away, it just sort of floats out 
uh, ah. in front of your face and just sort of gently spins on its point in front of you. What the? It's like, okay. Algy, you can turn around now. Yeah, I'll turn around. Who do I see? What do I see? So standing behind you, uh, arms down by his sides, is a heavily armored dwarf, uh, big red bushy beard peeking out from underneath a heavy helm, uh, keen green eyes looking at you. He's only maybe a foot, foot, foot or so taller than you. Like he's not large by dwarven standards, and the way he's holding himself is slightly odd to you, but. Not sure you would notice in your agitated state, uh, especially with this floating dagger behind you. Yeah. Uh, you don't you don't notice note any obvious weapons on him, uh, but if anything, that might that should probably concern you even more. Uh, he looks like, at you, I, uh, and he's like, "Haven't you I, heard of us? We're the Olsen's cadre. We've got tier tokens, a plenty. We're, we're all over the leaderboard." Uh, like we just killed you, the dragon. You, you would, you would have heard. Yeah. I think. Yeah. It's like that's the thing. I have indeed heard of you, but you know you can never be you can never be too careful in these places. And I heard there were three of you. It's it's mighty strange for for the gnome to be the one. Mighty strange for the gnome to be the one guarding guarding the room, the room like this. Where is the mighty Olsen, and where is the the slippery Harangon that I've heard is with you? This is a very key, very strange turn of affairs, and he sort of looks around the room, uh, seeing seeing an elk on the floor. Oh, yeah. like, is is that Olsen? Has he has he taken has he taken to napping napping as an elk? Is that one of the things these druids are doing I thought it these would help, days? I thought it would help in his recovery. He's on death's door. I've done everything I can. At the druidic oh, space, is, I thought it would help, but that Saravay, is incredibly concerning. But Saravay and I look down. I don't think Saravay's made it though. Ah, ah I see. Yes, it is. It is not for the faint of heart down here. Even I and the skills that I possess was making making for the surface. The report I had to give it. The fighting was getting too chaotic down there, but let's. But. These are the things that happen. We do not. We do not go blindly into the, into the darkness, for our own for our own comfort. We do it for the joy of the citizens of Algathera. Let me see if there's anything oh, I yeah. can do. Speaking of cadres, where's yours? I work alone. I do not. What there are there are. In the Yes, it is not solo cells. Haha, <laughs> that is the, that is the thing though. You've only seen the normal node core handbook. I am not merely part, merely part of that. Sometimes there are those of us who have skills that are so specialized that working with a group would merely slow us down. There are missions, there are missions and things that need to be taken on on for the safety of Algathera and its people that that working in a group uh, would only bring more danger. Some of us, some of us have the skills and the knowledge to be able to go out by ourselves, skulking around in the shadows, infiltrate, infiltrating other cities, delving into these dungeons by ourselves. Well, I don't know anything about infiltrating other cities? <laughs> I'll get there in old time. I'd be you terrible are, at that. <laughs> you all, you all are just normal soldiers, though. That's the thing. I am a dragon knight. For five minutes, it's like, do you, do you say this to him? Yeah, I want to say I'm a dragon knight. I'm so He's just like, <laughs> oh yes, I heard. I've I, I've heard that of recent news through my sources about this Olsen's cadre, the first set of dragon knights in a long time. I must say, it is it is incredibly impressive. I might have indeed put put some money on on the rise of this cadre. We have not seen the likes of you since. Oh, since back in the day when Vivers and that had come up. Uh, it's, it's always good to see what the youth get up to, but again, it's all its all very showy, very flashy. Everyone's heard about this, especially coming up on the global intercity leaderboard. No, it's too much, too much chatter for, 
for my liking. Yes, I'm afraid we may have burned too bright for once. Yes, it is. It's a sad time. Um, he's gonna lay a hand on. Oh, actually, no. He's just going to mutter under his breath, um, and cast uh, cast healing word on Olson. Okay. This is broke dwarf warrior man, cleric, mm-hmm. <laughs> war uh, cleric or something. Olson, you return to human, and you. There's... Oh, how do I how do I link? Uh, right. You get eight eight health back. How do I link it to? How do I link D and D Beyond to? Oh, just just click the thing and it should automatically. Do oh, it. oh, is That's... it just push to VTT? Oh wait, yeah. what do you mean? Uh, I just roll and then it pops up in. But I assume you had to have linked it. I'll I'll Google it. So, but I yeah, Olsen gets eight health back. Olsen, I don't... You you come to and you are sore. You feel like you've been like beat with sticks by like a but like ten angry peasants for like four days straight. Yes. You sort of you sort of sit up, um, and standing above you is this unfamiliar dwarf. But Algie's there too. Yeah. Oh, you'd see you'd see my signet ring. But um, no, no colors. No colors, and even then, the signet signet ring is like on a pair of uh, chain gauntlets. Like, you you only notice it because you're looking for it. Oh, here it is. That's a question Algy didn't ask. Well, but it's hard to ask when you're getting your... when you're getting threatened. That's Knife to your throat? I don't care who he is. Mm. Mr. Um, do not stab me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, the dwarf, the dwarf steps back, throws his arms wide, it's like, it's like, I, it's like, ah, Olsen, Olsen and Magneros, I have, I have heard about you and the things that you have done. I am Brent, I am Brentwin, uh, Brentwin Deependale, a s- special agent of Algathera. You would not have heard of me, but as I said to your small friend here, I operate best in the dark by myself, but the things I've seen down here... I know. Well... Oh, I love this. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, the zeal of youth. I have truly... It is truly a thing to see. But, as I mentioned, as I mentioned to Algy, I and the work that I do and others like me is not something that you in the normal node course, special dragon knights or not, would have heard about. We are the ones who take on the missions that, that are too dangerous to send a group into, that require a certain set of skills, people who can infiltrate, people who can trick the mind, trick the body, and get somewhere that multiple people would merely be a distraction. A weakness. Sure. The cadre system works very well, and it does get lonely on the road, but for the greater glory of Algathera, for the joy of its people, for giving giving the citizens the life that we have that we all aspire to, that we aim to provide, these sacrifices are worth it. If anything, Ordekar provides and these, these are the things that he has willed into this world. This is the correct way for it to be. And this is the path that, that I have been set upon. And this is the path that will lead Algathera to glory. It was Ordekar, right? Or did we check? Yeah, did we yeah, yeah. On that? Right. yeah. Or- Ordekar's pretty good. Ordekar's it was pretty Orderin, good. and now it's Ordekar. Ordekar is oh. slightly better. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. flows better. Um, so, Brett, when um, you were sent <laughs> down here to essentially sabotage um, the, the cadres of other city states to make sure. Don't worry, this is important. You were sent down here to sabotage the other the other cadres so that when this cadre came through, the Algath- you didn't know who the Algatheran cadre would be, mm. um, but when an Algatheran cadre came through, you could hook up with them and, and make it happen. Mm. 
Yeah. Uh, roll a uh, roll an inside check. Do you want me to roll a deception back or persuasion? Yeah, I don't think you need to. Yeah, deception was that. Because you're not trying to. De- oh, you could roll a persuasion. Let's see how persuasion. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. gonna be fun. Yeah, persuasion. Alex. Let's see if this if it works. Because this, this will set up the relationship from the get go. Is it a raw ten? Oh, that didn't come through. I didn't see. No. Oh. Uh, yeah, I yeah. think it, yeah, it must be. Ed, was your, was that a flat 10? No, it was a 14. Just roll on the, the, yeah. the tail spire. Wop, 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 yeah. 19. What? You're pretty persuasive then. Charismatic man. Mm-hmm. He is very charismatic. So he he fishes into his well no actually uh, from the, under his armor uh, an even smaller uh, leather bound handbook floats out with uh, the livery of Algathera across the front front just faintly faintly flickering with magic and he holds it up next and it floats up next to his face and he's just like see I also have a handbook it's just. A little bit fancier. <laughs> it is true, and it, another one floats out, floats out of his thing that matches, that matches Alton. It's like, it is true. I do have. <laughs> it's like I do, I do have a soft spot. Of course, I keep the handbook with me, but it is not the only one. I follow a, I follow a deeper calling. Uh, a broader calling these days. It's dangerous. I could have. You have no. If you didn't identify it, like anything could have happened. <laughs> he laughs and just very and just like very weakly claps algae on the back of one of his arms. <laughs> 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 no algae. Al like. You you are shocked at how gently he like taps oh. you. Hmm. Where's Sarah Bay? She'll get to the bottom of this. She'll know what to do. Uh, a lot's happened. Uh, a lot's happened while while you were knocked out. I tried to save. I managed to save you all. What? Uh, I kind of walk over towards this way. Too late by the time I got to Just two series of wounds. The it must have been must have been that um that dragon war. What happened also? As the pair of you look down upon Sarabe's corpse, um, you feel this like bond, this like this like almost like chain link between the, thr- the <laughs> trio of you. <laughs> the physical chain link. Huh? Yeah. Well. Um, yeah. You feel yeah. this like this 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 almost thread. Uh, between the three of you um, and as you stare down upon Sarabe's corpse and the realization hits that you know Sarabe is no more Sarabe will be never leaving this coffin that you so gingerly placed her into you feel that thread snap um, the even between the two of you 
between Olsen and uh, Algae, the connection that was so strong just isn't there anymore. Uh, we're, we're just a code, a chord duo. Exactly. The the power of the cadre has fled uh, and left you a bit anxious, a bit wary of the world. The the, the certainty that you had, the 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 stability of the three pillars underneath you has has crumbled. And you head out into the world now, slightly more afraid, slightly less confident. Maybe a little wiser, maybe a little older. What was that? Sure anymore. What was that book, Lachlan? You know, the one with like multiple dogs in a pack or whatever? Yeah, the Fire Upon the Day. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> it's exactly like that. That's a great book, by the way. Everyone should yeah. read that. <laughs> Fun day. Yes, there's truly, there's truly no joy in, in losing a member of one's cadre. Comes for the occupation. Well, you, as um, I mentioned, I've, oh, go ahead. Right when you, you sort of, you summon your, uh, special ops, um, shit, what's the book called? The handbook. <laughs> the special ops handbook uh, and just magically turn it to a page which says uh, in the event of a special ops uh, officer finding a cadre in uh, that is that is injured or incapacitated um, the special ops cadre, the special ops uh, officer shall do whatever is necessary for that cadre to complete their mission Yes, even though I was down here to prepare the way for this great Algatheran cadre, it's still my job to get you youngsters through this. Like, sure, I might be able to do a lot of disruption and a lot, a whole lot of murdering myself. The bigger jobs, that's what the cadre is for. And we have a pretty big job in here. Like I said, there's a lot of people down here and the size of that node I don't know if you've, you've both been able to feel it already, but you can just feel it pressing up against the side of your mind. It's something we can't allow to ha fall into the hands of anyone else. The things that it will bring to Algathera when we claim it. Don't worry, I'm, I could never replace your Scion, but I'll get you through this. Don't worry. You're right. If we combine together, there's three of us. <laughs> And she's like, yes! Yes! <laughs> triangle! Triangle! Triangle, triangle. triangle. <laughs> triangle offense! <laughs> Three men. But, I need some. As much as I love the ANC and Algathera, I, I'm too weak to continue right now. I can't go deeper into the. into the node. Without resting, I'll be, I'll be fodder straight away. Yes, it's certainly not something I would, I would suggest. I mean, there's there's a fair bit that I can do in the meantime. But if you're both burned all of your magics for the day, that is, and a lot that of is a blood. A lot of <laughs> That is something we can ill afford, ill afford to waste. As you've seen, a single mistake is all it takes, all it takes for someone to lose their life. Yeah. At least. Yeah. It'll... It'll have to be enough, also. We have... Yeah. 
weren't a lot of good in the battle. You wouldn't, actually. You would have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. What does a short um, rest do? So, okay, so what, what what are you gonna do? Are you gonna short rest, long rest? Short rest. What do I get back? How many spells? You, you... Would get, you, you only get like arcane, um, you can burn like one or two back with arcane, arcane recovery. recovery. Yeah, once per day when you finish short rest, you can just up to combined level four. Okay. So I get a level four. Well, that's good. I can get maybe two two level? Yeah, we we'll get two two. One third level. Let me best. And a one. Yeah, I'm gonna get one of my third levels back. Bretwin. Yeah. Bretwin Deep Delva. Bretwin. Bretwin, can you. Oh, Deep Delva? Deep Delva. Can you keep watch while we rest? Yes, that is that is one thing that I that I certainly can do. Or is there a is there a better spot? Is there a safer spot? Yeah, would I would I know if yeah. there's anywhere safer than this? Yeah, I mean where you came from, like back back over here is pretty safe. Better than allergies and other corpses. <laughs> pretty yeah. good. And you, for one, understand how to rig that gate so only you can open it. Hmm. Just like boop 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 locks it down. Oh shit, um, door over here. <laughs> Algae one one thing that you're, as, as you sort of hunker down for this short rest and like take your time, one thing that crosses your mind is like, how did Bretwin get behind you like that? Mm. What an what a interesting tell. situation. Tell for another day. <laughs> I'm okay. so focused on defending the one door, I forgot. I'm used to being in a team of three, you know? We've got multiple, <laughs> multiple angles covered. You know, they got my back, but obviously, I, my habit got to me. As it does, as it does. Okay. Um, the short rest passes. Uh, the cabin is quiet. Very quiet. Ooh, I rolled 52 Ooh. to heal. Yeah, that's good. Oh shit, is that all my death? Oh, that's yours. <laughs> oh, look at all oh, those sixes. There's a lot of hit dice. Yeah, nice. From one wow, that's a juicy short rest. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm never fucking. I'm never sure about that. Yeah, I think. Like it's so rare to actually take short rests. I used all mine. Oh. Cool. Back to 53 else. I've got some more spell slots back. That should be enough. I stabbed you both in your sleep. Ah well, he could have. He could have done that to me any any time he wanted. Um, just as you're sort of, you know, packing up and getting ready to move again, um, you hear this like, almost. It's almost inaudible. It's it's that deep. Uh, a noise just rumble through the um oh. through the cavern. Is it a familiar sounding rumble? You have heard such a... Uh... Roll me a... a Kana, I guess? Sure thing, boss. Nope. I am... <gasps> rolling. You're... You're a shit. You're an absolute shit tonight. Just but, the uh... worst wizard. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my god. You've never heard anything like this in your life. Yeah. And you racking your brain for like descriptions from like the, the tomes you've read doesn't doesn't draw up anything. Could just be the flow of the water has changed. Could be anything. Yeah. Okay. 
Where would you like to go now? I want to ask, um, Brentwin. How do we proceed? How do we proceed? To well, there is only one way to go, and that's further down. It keeps going. I. It has been a little while since I've come up, as in, as I sat there and watched you for. You know, I had to be sure who you were before I came in and introduced myself. But the way was clear uh, that I had come up. So let, let us continue down. You can almost continue just going deeper into as, as long as you're going uh, deeper into the pressure of mana. That'll really lead you the correct way. You can always tell when you're getting closer as it starts getting more and more stifling. The closer you get, the more and more intense it becomes. So, um, just from a logistics perspective, that point of view, um, everyone's on full health? I'm just a little bit off, but I'm on 53 of 58. I'll update your character in Tales mode, don't worry. Uh, oh, I've got Bretwin's good. Uh, and how many spell slots and whatnot does everyone have? Uh... Okay. I've got about okay. maybe half. I don't have any second spell slots, but I've got four ones, two threes, and one four. Right. I wasted one polymorphic. But I was trying to save all and I would spend anything. I would spend them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was like 20. And Bretwin is, uh, pretty iron. Cool. It's like, come, Olsen Magneros. Let's see if, even with your light dimmed, you'll still be the rising stars of Algathera. This is algae. It's like, ah, yes, algae. Of algae course. sprockets. Algae sprockets. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of set him <clears throat> under my breath a little bit. Be like, oh, geez, like that's. I'm reaffirming my name to myself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we can either go that way or. Yeah, you're leading the way. Yeah, is, is this door go anywhere, or what about what about this we super go, cool? We go, or we go the way that the dragonborn went. How about you can show off your cool skills over here? Have you guys seen what this is yet? Oh no, what's that? I'm back That's in the room. Uh, damn it! I thought it was actually. <sighs> what did you find? I thought I found a tunnel. Because oh, looking... it's like rocks. Because if you look over... You have found a tunnel. Well done. If you look over here... How do I make it? I found this thing over here. Ooh. And I was like, what that's related to? Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Okay, is that even a thing? I don't know. It looked like a secret tunnel. So. It is a secret tunnel. Well done. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's how Brett one got in here. Sure. <laughs> so you should be able to go in there now. It looks a bit tight. <laughs> the mini is too fat to get through. Oh, oh god, where'd he go? <laughs> oh, where'd he go? Oh shit, where did Brett one go? I mean, I can bring him back just by hopping. Oh, why can I not? Oh, there he is. Can anyone put in here? Damn. All right. Well, can you see the tunnel? Can you just yeah. pop yeah. yourself out the other side? We can imagine. We can imagine the tunnel. Yeah. You should shift click Oop. myself. Can I? Just... It's oh. over. I don't know where I've gone. Just use the arrow keys to move. Yeah. No. But I don't know. You're back at the start, Ken. Here, I'll move you. I'll move everyone. There you go. Yeah. 
At the moment, I'm the ultimate using a light, by the way. Yeah. Um, I'll be right back to six. Yeah. So this is how you suck up on me. He just, he just chuckles. It's like, ah, oh, tools of, tools of the trade. If you, if, if this is easy for you to believe, well, I'm not going to stand in your way. Since we're not in there, you know, we're not really well versed dwarves. Um, did you mine this out? All down here? <laughs> uh, <laughs> He just laughs again. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, the likelihood that dwarves did some of this is certainly possible. Me, no. I'm much too. I'm far more interested in making use of of what's available rather than carving it to my own will. Trust me, because he has the That wouldn't have been. That certainly wouldn't have been quick to to tunnel through this magic or not. All right. Algae, oh, oh, Al um, for you, Lachlan, Algae just asked if, uh, having not known many dwarves, if I made this tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you eat rock? Isn't that a bit Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit angry, actually. Um... I love that. I'll put it in the Mount Dora uh, chat, I think. It's a fun watch, very d and -E. Um, anyway, um, all right, so yeah, you, you, you pop out the other side of that tunnel, um, and you see this, like, this pathway along the river. Um, it's... It... Sorry. Roll me, Olsen, you're going first. Roll me a, a perception check, please. Seventeen. Okay, you like it doesn't take you long before you see the trail of blood um, dripping along this pathway. Uh, how long does it take blood to dry? Probably quite a while if it's not hot. Mm. Um, I would, it's not dry. No, it should be dry. Cold down here. It's wet. Like, yeah, true. It is wet. Yeah. I work in software. I don't know what blood does. You tell me, it's, it's most likely dry. But it'll I guess if you run your finger, quickly. you run your finger over it, it moves. You know what I mean? You know it's what like I'm paint. About? Yeah, like yeah. paint, where it's like. Okay. Well, I don't know how long the blood's been there. Is this true? <laughs> Is this just real? Ah, uh, no. Get out of here, Chase. Perceive, please. Or actually investigate for me. Oh no, perception. I think can listening. You, can you scout ahead, Mr. Brentwood? A 15. Um, you... You actually... You do hear... No, you... You don't see a torch or anything like that. Um, but you do hear just like some, some wisps of, like, hushed conversation. Oh. I'm smiling knows what they mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Brad, Brad Run is well versed in, uh, in the hand signals. I'm just imagining Brett went after watching us, like, stumble along this path, like, semi stealthily to just be like, like, no wonder they nearly died. <laughs> That's true, I had heard a lot. Oh, good one. Yeah. So he, he, uh, goes ahead. Um. I start to step forward as well. I put my hand on out, just hold it. Uh, so I'll, I'll stealthily. Yeah, I'll, I'll stealthily move forwards. Like a hat. <laughs> You just like, I'll get there. Yeah. 
uh, yeah, I'll I'll stealthily like move into the room and just sort of like like keeping keeping to the sides. Okay, so um, that, you, you have this gate in front of you. Oh yes, it hasn't been closed. Oh, it hasn't been closed. It, it, no, it has been closed. Or or rather, it is closed. You don't know much about the gate. It's been closed for eternity. Um. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll go up and inspect the gate, and like see whether it looks like it's locked or whether it's gonna like squeak. Yeah. Uh, when the, I open uh, it. Investigation. Let's see if this one will go through. Boop. Ah, uh, your trusty mini WD-40 can. Every lane. That was not a. I'm seeing nothing. Oh. oh. Hey. Oh. Um. All right, so you, you do notice that the door has been rigged. Um, there's, it's a, it's a kind of a, a, a bit of a ghetto rig. Um, it's just like a, a piece of metal that's jammed into the top that would fall to the ground and make a large noise um, if it was pushed, like pulled or like forced open. Um, so it doesn't appear to you like it's any sort of like magic thing, like no magic user would do that sort of thing. Mm. Uh, he's just gonna like, or it's just, it'll float. Uh, he'll yank the bit of metal or carefully just be like, and pull it out of the, out of the lock with no, no visible um, appendage that the other two can see. Okay. <laughs> Sprint through the game. <laughs> okay. Um, do you open the gate? Yeah. It, it, you, you, you're very gentle, and you open it, uh, uh, very quietly. So he sort of lifts it up, steps to the other side of it, and just sort of like shoes the other two through. I um, heard a signal. Yeah. <laughs> As you... Oh, torches off. Oh, you kill the torches? Yeah. There, this, this is actually quite lit up, this area. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as you come around the corner, those, like, those muffled voices, uh, become a little more audible, um, and you can hear there's almost a bit of an argument in their voice. Um, and as you... Actually, can can any of you see anything? Any people yet? Uh, mm, oh, yes. Way at the back. None. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see one over... So... Over there. Um, you... You hear this sort of thud. Oh. Um as um, the the figure sort of hefts this this other body like other like humanoid body into this like crate um, and then uh, the like a, a sort of an angry like You're the darling. An angry statement. Uh, who's got the best passive perception? Not me. Uh, yeah, that beats me. Um, you so good. You don't quite capture the full, like, full, the full, like, what is being said, but you you gather it something like, you know, we, no, 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 no time for this. Not the main objective. Um, and you hear sort of a, a another voice responding with something like, "Too many risks. What if uh, more?" Um, and I think that's where we'll end the session tonight. <laughs> Cool. 
glad Olsen is dead. <laughs> you did your best. I you tried my best. Awesome. That was hectic. I oh my tried God. my best. Yeah, I like I, I should have I should have given you a little more warning, Ed, just in case that actually did go wrong. In my head, like in, I was like, in case oh, it went wrong, it'll be this really dramatic thing where like it, like algae almost screws it up and he'll save the day. <laughs> And then he just, you just completely fucked it. You completely <laughs> fucked it. And I was like, oh shit, I wasn't really expecting that. Which is ridiculous, yeah. it's a 50 50 chance, really. Yeah. Yeah. Well, apparently, that, the three negatives in a row, it's only 6.2% likelihood of that happening. So I was very unlucky. And even that one was unlucky. Yeah. I gotta say, though, this new character is. Dope. Yeah. It's, I like it's you. So cool. Lucky, you, you have not even looked at my character sheet yet. It's. I don't it's even fucked. know I wanna look. <laughs> it's another homebrew. No, it's not. I'm not sure that makes it better. I guess we'll find out. Probably next session. I need to go and fucking read things. I have I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I feel like I really need to fix up a lot of my spells and stuff to be like... Well, from now, like basically from here on out, like, well, actually, from as soon as you enter this tomb, I've decided to like ramp up the combat difficulty. Because I like it. I like I the chance that we're nearly gonna die mm. against a competing um, core of like similar skills. Well, it makes sense, right? Like the magic, yeah. you're you are the elite, and you're fighting the other elite. Like it should be that, very, very difficult combat. It's, um, it's me, the super secret single cell of that, that uh, Brentwin doesn't know about because I'm more. <laughs> You're even more anime. secret. Yeah. <laughs> That's some anime bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think you were the only one trained by the master, did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was his first student. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm very glad I've watched like a little bit of anime to throw in like the little, the little <laughs> anime like escalation. But I'm yeah, glad I haven't watched too much anime and haven't like ruined my brain and creative like sense on that sort of crap. I do quite like that. I'll, if I die, get ready, Brent Twin. <laughs> Secret second guy. Brent Winner. <laughs> Is, are you are you are you planning for when Algy dies horribly in combat? Nah, Algy's never gonna die. <laughs> just yeah, yeah. Just I full, used to... just like I will never die. I was saying that before. I used to have a really like super defensive Algy spells and stuff to like make sure I survived and just ditched the the cadre. But as we formed this bond, I. Can... Like the bond, I kind of dropped them. I was like, "Oh no, I don't, I don't, I don't want to ditch them." But nice. I should have. <laughs> yeah, that. Was... There's a there's a um skill called rope trick where like oh uh, yeah I go up a rope and then I go into like a special safe zone for like an hour. So I was just gonna like run away into that. Yeah, there you go. That's that's actually fantastic. Like for for never dying. Yeah, yeah, that was a, that was a great monologue as well, Loki. With um, when they were looking over Sarave's body, like that was mm, ugh, my fucking feelings. I wanted just a little, a little bit, you know. Yeah, no, that was that was wonderful. The cadre threat snaps. That was but nice. You can always rebuild new threat, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah.